first of all if you want to get yourself an aquarium tank you gotta get yourself a mentor go to your local store and find yourself who can help you with everything because you will have million questions well today we're going to be learning how to test your aquarium water okay i got my water in here also i forgot to introduce my mentor his name is jim he's the owner of the aquarium and imports at the Arden pet store so he's going to teach me how to do a salt water aquarium tests every time you use your test tube to test with <laughs> be sure and rinse them out first with the water you're testing okay so you get some water in it and just rinse them with that water fill it cork and you get it up to the line and it all the test tubes come in here, right? Yeah, yep. you get a whole set of test tubes in there. Well, this is, I'm just, I'll start off with the basics. High range test kit, since you're using salt water, your pH range is in the 8 to 8.5 range. So there's a high range test, there's a low range test. The low range is ideally for fresh water, and your high range test for cichlids and marine tanks, anything that takes a high pH. Mm -hmm. and the one thing you always want to do with this stuff, shake it up good. Okay. Uh, because it can separate, it can, uh, because the type of chemicals are in it, it can separate and you could, it'll give you a false reading. Okay. So you just shake it up good, go by the instructions of how many drops and stuff it says, the instructions on all this stuff, and it'll tell you how much to use, and that's how much you use. Five drops, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is science experiment right here. There you go. You take the cap that you rinsed it with and just shake it. And it'll turn a color. Nice. Just because I've done this so much, I already know that you're in about a 7 2, I mean, an 8 2 to 8 3 range right there. Uh, is it bad? It's not, it's good. What do you want to be at? Um, 8.3 to 8.4 okay. is ideal. Nice. And inside all of these you get a color kit. So how do we match it up? I know. If you look at this, um, this is what's hard about these kits. Is you have to lay it against something white and read it. If you look at it, it's going, uh -huh. it's showing you that you're 8.2. And if you put it under some other color, it changes yeah, color. Yeah, you've got to be careful. If you move it around other things, the color isn't always good so you got to work under the same light and put it against a white background mm -hmm. and you'll see that really the a2 is is good okay. i like to see it a little more purple okay that's what i'm saying you're running a2 maybe a3 i like to see it a definite a3 to a4 okay so i would add a touch of uh ph increaser ph Okay. <laughs> a pH buffer into the tank. Okay. So that it brings it up a little. The try tells me if the beneficial bacteria in your tank is taking care of your tank. Ideally, it should be zero. Uh, if it gives me a positive reading, then biologically, the beneficial bacteria of your tank is not up to par with the amount of load, meaning animals, live rock. Uh, food, anything that's on your tank, your bacteria isn't up taking care, isn't taking care of it yet. Mm -hmm. So that's what this tells us. Five drops. Five drops again. And some of these you have to let them set for four or five minutes to get a proper reading. This one you have to wait? This will take just a couple of minutes. Okay. Um, if it stays blue, you're great. If it turns purple, you got a problem. Hopefully it stays blue. <laughs> and what else do we want to test on? Alright, I know it's a new tank, but we're going to look at nitrates just to be sure there's nothing going on with the rock or foods or anything else. Okay. And if this comes later on, you will have nitrate problems. Okay. Something you have to work at to care for. Ten drops. Mm -hmm. And 
you notice when I drop this stuff, I'm not leaning it like this and doing it. Mm -hmm. I turn this upside down so you get the actual measured drop. Okay, completely drop. upside down. That's good to know. And this has a two part on it. So bottle one, bottle two. Oh, wow. That way, if I forget one step, I can go back, look at the video, how to do it. This is awesome. I'm going to shake these up good so that everything mixes well. On your chart with your nitrites, you'll see that you're blue, blue, blue. And you want to be zero. You want to be zero. We're okay. not seeing any purples or anything, which is great. So. And what right. makes nitrite? Something dies in there? And uh, nitrite is an imbalance of beneficial bacteria. For instance, if your bacteria levels are too low and your loads are too high, um, you'll get a positive reading of nitrite. Mm -hmm. And it tells us that biologically the tank is not up to par or it's, it's off doing mm -hmm. something. Okay. It can be overfeeding too many animals too quick. Uh, the beneficial bacteria that supports your tank is too low. Everything has to work together okay. for it to be proper. And this is the balances that we're looking for in the water. Okay. Still wait for a few minutes, but this is coming up zeros too. So for what is this? Shape. I forgot. That's nitrate. Nitrate okay. actually tells me how dirty your tank is. Okay. So if you've got something dying in your tank, for instance, sometimes you put live rock in. Uh, some of the if it's not cleaned or cured, we hear that, um, the life organisms on it and shipping can die. When you put that stuff in a tank and it's not cleaned up or cured yet, those organisms are end up being like a dead fish in your tank. They're dead animals. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get dead animals in your tank that start breaking down, it can drive your nitrates very hot. Overfeeding, because it's food uh, breaking down in your tank. Uh, you can get high nitrates. As a byproduct from fish waste, foods, and all, nitrate is always produced naturally. Mm -hmm. But we want to keep the levels low um, because it becomes very detrimental over the long term to your corals, your fish, everything. 8.2. Oh, so that's why I remember. Maybe I'll get a board like that too. Your NO2 is running zero, which is great. So that's why I remember what was happening a week ago. Yeah. That's it's cool. good to keep a chart and see how things progress or degress, unfortunately, over a period of time. And it gives you also a way of keeping up with it. When you start, ideally, all your parameters should be perfect. As time goes on, they're going to change. So you always want to go back to how you started, where they're perfect. Mm. Okay. Anything else we need to... Yeah, actually, because you've got a, you're going to a reef tank, we're going to do some calcium tests. And this is the kit we are using right here. Let's check a phosphate. So, water master Calories. test kit. Is this is the calcium? Yeah. And reef tanks need cal calcium? Yes, yeah. all your corals have a bony skeleton to them. Uh, and in order for them to grow, you have to keep X amount of calcium in your water at all times. We're going to add 10 drops of this first. Yeah. And then? And then we add one drop at a time of this uh -huh. until it turns blue. Okay. And that way you count the drops and then you will finalize the test. Okay. And this will take a few minutes. Okay. Because it's always pretty good to drop some cakes. Every time you add the drop, you want to shake it up. Yep, there it went. Boom. Wow, it's so cool. Like magic. It was purple. I mean, and now it's blue. Yep. That's the color you wanted to change yep. to. It took us 15 drops. So you multiply the number of tubs, yeah. drops so by 20. Times 20 gives you 300. So you've got 300 parts per million in your calcium level. Uh, in your level. You should be 425. How do we fix it? 
you add a calcium supplement to your water, to your tank, it'll bring your calcium up. Awesome. Now, but you're just running low. Now we're gonna test for salinity. We will need one of these gadgets right here. It's a refractometer. What is it? Refractometer. I can't pronounce that. Refract. Refract. Refractometer. There you go. And your salinity is low. If you look through there, you'll see there's a blue. The top is blue, the bottom is white. Almost got it. And what's it supposed to be on? Uh, ideally, we want to see it at 1.023 to 24. Uh huh. And you're running at 1.020. Okay. Eyepiece is adjustable, so if it's not clear, you can adjust the eyepiece. I saw it through the camera, yeah. So you see where the blue meets the white? Mm-hmm. See your chart on the left side? Yep. That's telling you what your salinity is. One, zero, two. Looks like you might be between 2.0 oh and 2.1. To be exact. Mm-hmm. Remind me what's the salinity supposed to be at? Ideally, we want to see it at 23 to 24. Okay, so I need to get it up a little bit. And you add a little more salt. Okay. to your system so yes. we're testing phosphates now it says six drops in it yeah. and it's part one and two. Oh man this is the fun one the part two also six drops easy yeah. this is actually fun and that's a lot of fun so what do you do now can you put it right away or you shake it up yeah, first well it always tells you to shake it up I've been doing it so long it I've never found any difference in it. Okay. So I often throw them run on top of the other and then shake them. Okay. I just haven't seen any difference. If you stick by the rules, yeah, you shake it mm -hmm. and then you put your second one in. And here's the reason why you got to shake this stuff good. The stuff I just put in there, I don't know if you saw it, it actually separated and mm -hmm. fell. Okay, now we wait till it's set up for a minute. This, if this had any color of greens or every once in a while we see blues in it, this is bad. Mm -hmm. But you're up here right with zero. the upper color, zero, as it should be. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're in great shape with that. Is all your results. I didn't test ammonia. Uh, because nitrite is actually more important than ammonia in a saltwater tank. I mean, we can test it just to see. Just to show me how to. Yeah. Um, and then I won't bother you anymore. I have a video. <laughs> ammonia, six to eight drops. Eight drops. And this one is eight. One and two again. How long does one of these kits last? Well, I mean, you should be using it. It gives you 550 tests. Oh, wow. You can get 200 and some tests per bottle. Okay. Some of them are 300 tests per bottle. So they're going to last you a long time. Yeah. And the whole thing is, you want to use them. And you don't do you any good sitting in a box mm -hmm. and don't use it. Because they'll go bad. Well, not only do they go bad, you don't know what's going on in your fish tank. Yeah. It's all a guess at that point. This at least tells you what's happening. Yep. So... Catch a problem before you have a problem, right? If you have any ammonia at all, it will turn shades of green. Okay. And that's kind of yellow it right now. It should have a yellow tint to it. Yellow okay, means, yellow is good. Yep. Nice, looks yellow. And I expect that just to be yellow and stay yellow because of everything else. You just want to wait a couple of minutes? Yeah, I always wait a couple of minutes just to see if things change a little bit. It's in, still in the yellow mm -hmm. on your ammonia level, so you have zero ammonia. Seachem. The Aqua Vitro line is a professional line. Um, this is really designed for, I don't want to say a more advanced hobbyist because it's not really that. Um, it's their professional line. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a good line. They all work together. All of the Alcovitro uh, products work together, so you don't get any um, 
problems in mixing two and three of the same things okay. as you need it but that's where I would go with okay so what do I need to add this is uh that is 8.4 it brings your pH up to 8.4 how much do I add into my coin just follow the directions okay all stuff yeah okay so just say always it. work with directions okay don't, don't guess it just use the way it says so my pH is 8.2 it need to be at 8.4 we're going to fix that ammonia is zero which is good natrite zero natrate five so we'll fix that as well and also my calcium is low so we're gonna add as well and also my salinity at 1020 it should be at 1.023 or 0.24 so we're gonna fix it all up so we'll show you how to correct it but before I'm going to do the water change it will fix few things and it also will bring salinity higher because the salinity of 5 gallon of salt water that I got is a little bit higher so to get the salinity higher water change is really simple what we're going to do is take one of those things and it's a jiggle siphon all I have to do is just jiggle and it's going to start siphoning so definitely this is a good siphon also you can clean sand with this this is how it works you push it on a sand like that you see it goes up the sand then you let go and then you can clean sand like this by the way also I should turn off the pump and everything yeah turn off the pump but yeah this is what you can do to clean off the sand some people like to do that but when you do that you're going to clean off the good stuff and the bad stuff so i don't think i'm actually going to be using for that but if you want you can you see how it's cleaning off all the stuff from from over there like this stuff all the allergy you can clean that up but instead i'm going to let my hermit crabs and snails to do that to turn the sand and I might get those little fish that turn scent pretty good. And right here I got new water from a pet store. Now we're going to siphon water from here into the aquarium. I love that you just jiggle it and it's just going to start pumping the water. Also you can use bio balls but if you want to go step higher you can use one of these. This one's even better but they are a little bit more expensive. And what I like about it, it's already comes in the net like that perfect we'll just put it in one of the shelves and stick the shelf and then the put shell back in and then we can put it just few layers of that stuff then we're going to put it all back in well guys that's pretty much it today we learn how to test water and do a water change it was pretty important things that i learned today so hopefully my tank We'll keep driving and we're going to correct any problems in it. So if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.